Hello, everyone. We're back. I'm feeling really confident, if you can't tell. Um, we've got the spring major predictions. And honestly, this split went so much better than I ever could have dreamed. Um, as you know, if, if you've been watching my content for a while, you know, I'm a big Space Station fan, have been for a very long time, ever since I really started watching all of CS. And this has been, without a doubt, one of the most fun splits I've ever gotten to watch. And it's just, it, it's had me so excited. And yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to stop gushing for a little bit and let's get into the major predictions because that's what you're here for. Um, if you haven't already clicked off, um, so we'll just go through it. We've got uh, one last event. There's a lot of teams fighting for worlds still. Vitality is not really one of them. Uh, Elevate is also not one of them. And it's also the best team in the world versus APAC. So I'm going to give Vitality the 3 0 nod there. Um, Complexity Liquid. This one I have my eye on. Um, I think in the power rankings that I have for this Winter Major, I think I have Liquid at 5, and then I actually have Complexity at 6, which is probably surprising for most people considering they're the fourth seed out of North America. Um, that being said, oh, I, I'm going to give this to... I'll give it to Liquid in a very close one, but this is going to be a series to watch in this matchup or in this event. I think this one will be as well. I think Gen G had a really tough split, but it's about time they started bouncing back. Um, and I feel like this taking down this BDS roster could be the way to do that. Um, do I want to be as bold as to predict it though? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I do. Um, I'm, I'm not going to predict it yet. I'll give it three, two to BDS. I have them on the resurgence train for now. Um, crew versus rule one. Now I'm going to have a very unpopular opinion when it comes to uh, the Middle East region. And I know that going into it, um, this is going to be a 3-1 in favor of Crew, and I don't think it's going to be very close. I think Crew is going to clear. I have Crew 7th in my power rankings, actually. I think South America is consistently getting disrespected with their power levels, and you more often see Rule 1 on top 10 rankings in the world rather than Crew, despite the fact that Rule 1 has not played in international land yet, and Crew has proven themselves on land, gotten top 8, and I mean... They've gotten two wins in South America. I don't know why we keep doubting the region. Um, Space Station versus Power. I'm going to give them one because I don't want to be super overconfident. Um, and so far, I have doubted them in all of my predictions thus far, and they came out with the one seed. So I think I will keep doubting them. But just know in my head, I, I'm, all, I'm, always, I'm always thinking it's possible. Um, Carmine Core is going to clear ground zero. This is not going to be close. Um, Fury and Boys. This one I'm also excited for. It's the rematch between these two organizations. We saw this in the quarterfinals at Worlds with the, probably the greatest RLCS series of all time. Um, Furia took that one. This series, I'm not sure. I want to give it to Moist. I do, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think Fury is going to take it. And I think they're going to take it three to two. Um, Optic and Ninjas in Pajamas. Now, if I have any Optic fans watching this, which I'm sure I do, I have sort of an optic fan myself i've been a fan of rettles ever since even before he joined ssg but i do have ninjas of pajamas pulling this upset i'll have it three to two um but i've learned after last major to never doubt the south american tuba i mean if you look at furia in the winter major last year if you look at team secret at the uh, fall major this year and you look at crew at the winter major this year Sam 2 always seems to do something really ridiculously surprising. Even a uh, spring major last year where Team Secret took down Team BDS. Don't doubt the Sam Tuba. Ninjas of Pajamas take the first one. Um, I'll jump down to lowers. So complexity, elevate. I think no matter who elevate gets here, they're just kind of screwed. I feel kind of bad for them going 06, but it is going to be the way this goes. Um, Gen G rule one, I think rule one got placed into a very difficult quadrant where they're going to have to face off of against, um, team BDS or Gen G no matter what. And since I have crew winning, I think crew is probably their best chance at actually getting a win in this major. Um, that being said, I mean, who knows if they win this matchup, who they would probably get, um, probably an OCE team. So it's crucial that they win this actually not a thing about it. On um, that being said, I'll give it three to one in favor of Gen G. Um, power versus uh, ground zero. This is legitimately four worlds. They are currently tied in points. Whoever wins this match goes to the world championship. Whoever loses most likely stays home unless the other could go on and get a major spot and or a main region spot. Um, I'm going to give it to ground zero, actually, three to two. I think power has the better team on paper. 
but it just hasn't been clicking for them recently, and I'll have ground zero as the better team making it through. Moist versus Optic. Look, I don't want to doubt the Cannon. I think the Cannon can do amazing things. I love Joyal. I love the Moist guys. I'm absolutely cheering for them over Furia, but I, I'm not cheering for them over Optic, and I think Optic is the stronger team. I'll give it a 3-1 to one in favor of the green wall. Now, this uh, round, I don't expect to be in front of a crowd. That being said, I do expect this to be in front of a crowd, and I think they'll mix it up a little bit. I would not be surprised to see these games all in front of a crowd, and then these games as well. So we'll have to see what ends up happening. I expect it to be more than the standard Saturday, Sunday slate. So we do get top 12, but we'll have to see, of course. If we only get top eight, I'm going to be kind of bummed. Um, Vitality Liquid. I think Liquid has a chance. If Zen is still nervous on land, this is not really a true land matchup. Sure, he'll get a little bit of experience, um, but I think Liquid has a chance. I don't think they're going to win, though. I'll give Vitality the three to one. Um, Team BDS and Crew. I want to give this to Crew. Um, and if Gen G goes through here, then I think Crew has a much better chance of making that top six run. But since I had BDS sticking it through, making that win, I'll continue my predictions and have them going through again. Um, Space Station Carmine Core. Now, listen. Every single time this split, Space Station has faced a very difficult opponent in the second round. The first regional was FaZe. The next two regionals, it was Gen G. This time, it's Carmine Core. Every single time I've predicted them to lose that match. Every single time they've won it. With all of that being said, Carmine Core are going to beat Space Station. Ninjas of Pajamas and Furia. Um, let's go. I I've got the same two buff here, and I'm probably going to get like absolute flame for this, but I really don't care. Ninjas of Pajamas in game five. Again, I think I posted on Twitter. I got flamed on Twitter for this, but I said that Ninjas and Pajamas had bottled the transfer window. And I thought that was true at the time. I don't know why they replaced Kayo after winning the most recent events. But Mata stepped up big, got themselves into this land. It's the first land for the org. It's, first, it's Mata's first land. I'm excited to see it. And they got Sam too. I'm, I'm going to keep harping the Sam too buff because I'm either going to look like a fool or a genius. And hopefully it's the latter. Um, that being said, Furia is going to lose. And it's going to be kind of fun because this is actually kind of a rematch of the Furia of the Club matchup we saw at World Championship as well. Granted, most of the rosters are different. Obviously, Lost has moved over to Furia. Furia has moved regions. It's a little different, but it's still there. Um, oh, this is an exciting lower round, too. This I expect to see in front of a crowd. I really hope to see it in front of a crowd because look how many good matches we have in here, right? Furia complexity. Um, I know Furia had the most recent win. I know a lot of people are super hype on Furia, and they're the second seed. I don't really believe. They had not won a best of seven in North America until this event. And I don't want to completely buy into the recency bias. I think Complexity is a stronger team overall. And I'll give this 3-1 to Complexity. Um, Gen G versus Space Station in another best of five. Now, the first one, we kind of control that entire series. Won it 3-1. to one. The second one, I think a lot was dictated by that game one. And when Hawkser put the goal in with seven seconds left, it absolutely tipped how the series was going to go. I think if Gen G had taken that game one, we see a very different result on Friday. Um, and so... That being said, Space Station has clutched up in the last two times they faced, and Gen G's been looking not as strong, losing games to G2. I'll have a go to five this time, but I got Space Station coming out on top. Crew versus Ground Zero. This is a pretty exciting match, and this is going to get Sam some more good placements, um, which is not surprising. I do, I do like the South American region. Um, normally, one of them performs poorly, though, so it's kind of unfortunate that the bracket is setting up this way. Now, if Rule 1 wins this, I think it's a top eight for them. I think... Whoever loses this match is probably just fine to get into the top eight unless some absolutely wild shenanigans happens here. Um, but I will give this three to zero. Honestly, I got to stop. I got to just go strong for crew here. Um, Team Liquid and Optic. I think this is a very difficult draw for Optic. I think it's possible that Optic could do it. And honestly, if they put their minds to it, they absolutely could. And I'm feeling NA bias today. I mean, the... If this is in front of a crowd, the crowd is going to have Optics back. They're going to have SSG, or not SSG, they're going to have Rettle's dad in the background leading the chance. And if that's actually in front of a crowd, I believe it tips the series in favor of Optic. And they win a 3-2. to two. I, I am, this is an absolutely interesting bracket. Uh, Complexity Space Station. Now, Complexity have won an event, but they've looked kind of weak since then. I wanted to give them a pass for the Spring Cup because they lost to the team that won it and the fourth place team that being said neither of those teams made the land 
So complexity definitely having a bit of a rough split. They also lost to Optic and Gen G in the most recent regional, um, both of who have made this land, but have not really the strongest teams you would expect. Um, and th while, I mean, Space Station is the one seed from North America that haven't won the bet, they are looking the most consistent. And I don't want to be called biased for saying this, but I got us winning this game. I'll probably get called biased. But at this point, like I've been so unbiased in all these predictions and not believing that, I mean, it, it's time to believe. Uh, Crew versus Optic. I think Crew has a very good chance of winning this game. And if they do, we got an exciting matchup. But I, I don't see it happening. And me predicting Optic here is going to absolutely just, they're going to run the gauntlet now because we got three to one. Or three to I'll give it three to two for crew. Oh, will I? Yeah, I'll give it three to two for crew. Or for optic. Vitality BDS. Oh boy. Whew. This best of uh seven territory. It's it's four to one. I know that's very basic, considering that's exactly what's happened in all these events. That being said, I do believe this is probably the most likely outcome. I know I'm going very over time. I'm over explaining it. Um, but it's it's fun. It's major predictions. Um, you're probably still here anyways. So <laughs> Carmine Court, Ninjas in Pajamas. Um, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a slap in the face. They they pulled some upsets to get here, but they're gonna get smacked after that. Um, Team BDS Space Station. Now this is where I have to, for prediction's sake, stop believing. Um, I think it's possible. I definitely think it's possible we win this game. Um, but that being said, I think Team BDS is the stronger team right now, and I'll give it to them. I'll give it four to three just to make it interesting, just so that I have the peace of mind. Plus, there have been so many series where maybe it's not this exact Space Station roster, but it is a Space Station roster where they've looked like they're just up against better names, and they've still taken them to seven. For instance, um, Team Queso versus Space Station in the Winter Major last year. I thought they were just all better players just across the board, but we still took them to game seven. And, you know, an iconic save happened. Same thing with Moist in the Spring Major, honestly. Um, same thing with Falcons, where we managed to make that comeback and almost reverse sweep them on land. Like, we have a knack for going to Game 7 um, when maybe we're not expected to and then losing in the most heartbreaking fashion. I have PTSD, if you can't tell. Um, <laughs> Optic versus Ninjas in Pajamas. Now... There was an instance last spring major where it was Carmine Core versus Fury on the first round, and Carmine Core absolutely dumpstered them. And then it was Carmine Core and Fury in the rematch. So basically, like they faced in the first round, and they faced to go into top four. And then Carmine Core dumpstered them in the first three games, but Fury almost reverse swept and then ended up losing. Now, I think in front of a crowd, this is a different matchup. And I think it might be time for ninjas to fall. I considered doing the same trend where ninjas would end up winning this and go top four, which is definitely a bold prediction. Uh, but that being said, I'll, I'll have Optic do this. Uh, I'll have it four to two. I think ninjas will look like the better team at the start, but then the crowd will get behind Optic. So it, it starts two to one and then ends four to two. Uh, team BDS versus Optic. I was listening to the policy earlier today, and one of the things on their bingo card was that Team Vitality did not face an NA team. And I'm I, I don't have the complete faith that Optic pull this. I, I think I have an all EU top three, which Oh man. Oh man. Or do 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 I make it fun? Screw it. Let's piss some people off. Four to three, Optic, underneath the crowd buff, Vitality, four to two, Carmine Core, falling apart, Optic in the finals. <laughs> it's too late for me to be doing these, but I'm doing them anyways. The power of the green wall, it's it's so bold. Look, it's it's so bold, and I understand that. But Rettles is a land player. If Magic Bear gets experienced, I could see it happening. And AJ is just insanely mechanical. I think if they play their game... I truly believe they, they could do this. I don't think they're favored to do this. I think they could do this. And I've been called vanilla for making the same boring predictions over and over and over again. 
And I'm going to be a little vanilla because I still will have Vitality winning the land, but at least they will face one North American team while doing it. North America won't get locked out of the finals. This is probably the biggest chance North America has for missing the finals in a long time since the spring major of last year. So yeah, I'll have Optic making that surprise run to challenge Vitality, but then losing in the finals. Um, maybe I'll just make it not interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Optic. I had to go in this far. So... Yep, that, that's what we got. Um, the world's region spots are going to be super interesting because of this. Um, I think overall, I do expect Optic to outperform Furia. And so I think they will end up getting that spot, the sixth spot over them. I think they'll both end up passing version one. Or actually, I don't have Furia passing version one here. So who knows? Um, here's how North America works out. Optic almost jumps into the spot. Space Station... You know, that, I think we're in a great position to make four, right? Because, oh, what, what do we need? So that, that'd be a Liquipedia dive. I'll do that on the stream later and go over exactly what everything's happening here. But, I mean, all seven of these teams have a chance at making it. And based on the world's region spots, it is just barely taken by North America four. Um, Sam two is actually closer than or they're tied. But it's, it's so close, the way I have this breaking down. I think there's a good chance North America hangs onto the spot, and I think there's a very good chance that Europe is pissed about it. Um, and I've seen all this stuff about Europe clearing North America for a long time now, but all I'm going to say is you guys had three teams at Worlds last year. The other three were just non-existent. Non -existent. Come on. Semper, Dignitas, Endpoint, what were they doing there? What were they doing there? You had three teams at Worlds, so don't tell me the EU clears just because you got the winner at the end. So the Worlds wildcard drafting order... Oh, Optic is not a draftable team. That's absurd. That is ridiculous. A. B. This is a pretty good drafting order, honestly. Crew, BDS, Pioneers, G2. Space Station making the main event after everything that's happened this year would be absurd. But yeah. All right, that's how it breaks down. Um, that all being said, thank you for watching. I know I've rambled on for far longer than I normally do. I'll probably get this out on Friday because I want to make a... Um, thumbnail for it actually for the first time for a while uh lighting is not as good as i thought it was now that i'm looking at it um background's different can't tell so yeah thanks for watching adios